Today I'm going to show you how to make a mouth-watering Japanese rice dish that's loaded with mushrooms and veggies, so stick around! Takikomi gohan literally means cooked with rice. And it's a whole class of rice dishes made by cooking various ingredients with rice. Today I want to show you the most popular variety of takikomi gohan that's also known as gomoku gohan. For my version, I include shiitake and maitake mushrooms for a meatless boost of umami, earthy burdock and sweet carrots for texture and color, and I also like to add some nutty fried tofu to bring the protein to the party. Together, these ingredients create a flavorful bowl of rice that tastes like autumn. Looks delicious, right? Let's start with a look at our ingredients. I'm using two large dried shiitake mushrooms, 50 grams of fresh maitake mushrooms, 50 grams of carrot, 50 grams of gobo, and one large piece of aburage, which is a thin sheet of fried tofu. I've also got a tablespoon of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of sake, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of kombucha. Kombucha is powdered kelp stock that can be consumed as a savory tea, but it's also an easy, natural way to add tons of umami to your cooking. I've partnered up with Kokoro Care Packages to be able to send you some of my favorite Japanese ingredients, including this kombucha. I'm also including a recipe booklet with 10 original recipes I made using the ingredients from this box, so hit the link in the description to get your order in before we run out. The rest of the ingredients we need for our takikomi gohan are 2 US cups of water, 1.5 US cups of rice, and some mitsuba for garnish. The first thing we're going to do is rehydrate the shiitake mushrooms with 2 cups of cold water. This can take a few hours, so make sure you get them started early. Once the shiitake is ready, go ahead and wash the rice. The easiest way to do this is to put it in a sieve and rinse it under cold water while agitating it with your hand like this. Once the water runs mostly clear, drain the rice well and get it into a deep, heavy-bottomed pot like this Dutch oven. Now I'm gonna wring out the extra water from the shiitake mushrooms. This brown liquid is mushroom stock, so you want to measure out 1 and 3 quarter cups of it and add it to the rice. Be careful not to add the sediment at the bottom of the bowl because this can contain some grit. Now we're going to let the rice soak for at least 30 minutes. While we wait for the rice to soak, let's prep our mushrooms and veggies. First, I'm going to shred the maitake mushrooms into bite-sized pieces. Maitake are usually pretty clean, but if you see any growing medium attached, be sure to remove and discard it. Now I'm going to chop up the aburage into small pieces. Because the sheets of tofu have been pressed and fried, they take on a meaty texture that's going to absorb the flavors from our other ingredients like a sponge. For the rehydrated shiitakes, I'm going to trim off the tough stems and discard them. Then I'm going to thinly slice up the caps. Dried shiitakes are naturally abundant in guanosine monophosphate, which is going to synergize with the amino acids in the sake and kombucha to create a ton of umami. For the carrot, I'm going to slice it up and then cut the slices into thin matchsticks. For the gobo, you want to wash all the dirt off by rubbing it with your hands, but we're not going to peel it today because we want the earthy flavor of the skin. Now I'm going to whittle the root with my knife to make thin shavings like this. You could also do this with the vegetable peeler. Gobo is the taproot of the burdock plant which grows around the world, but I've only really seen it being used in Asia as a vegetable. It contains a ton of tannins and minerals which cause it to oxidize, so we usually soak it in acidified water to prevent this. I really want the earthy flavor of our gobo to stand out today though, so I'm gonna skip the soaking step. To get the last bit of gobo, I'm just gonna cut it up like I did the carrots. Then 
That's it for our prep, so let's start cooking. I'm gonna add our oil to a pan over medium high heat and stir fry the vegetables. This step brings out the umami and sweetness of the mushrooms and veggies. Once they've been frying for a few minutes and have halved in volume, I'm gonna add the sake, soy sauce, sugar, and kombucha. Then I'm gonna continue stir frying the mixture until most of the liquid is gone. It's okay if there's a little left, but if the mixture is too soupy, it's gonna make your rice mushy. Okay, this is looking good and smelling amazing, so let's check on our rice. As you can see, it's absorbed a bunch of the shiitake stock, so let's get the pot over to the stove. Then we're gonna dump the stir-fried veggies and mushrooms onto the top of the rice. Gently spread the mixture on top, but be careful not to mix it into the rice or you're gonna end up with crunchy uncooked rice. Now I'm gonna cover this with a lid and turn the heat on to high. We wanna let this come to a boil and once you see steam escaping from the lid, turn down the heat to low and set a timer for 12 minutes. When the timer goes off, turn off the heat and set a timer for another 10 minutes to steam the rice. Okay, our rice is done steaming, so let's get it over to the counter and see what we've got. Before we see how this turned out, I wanna take a moment to thank my supporters. Whether you're pitching in on Patreon or taking a few minutes to leave a kind comment, every bit of support counts and I'm super thankful for you. As we head into the last stretch of the year, I'm still hoping to make it to 100,000 subscribers before New Year's, so if you have friends that might enjoy my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could send them this way. All right, let's check out that rice. Beautiful, isn't it? And I wish you could be here to smell its incredible aroma. To finish off our takikomi gohan, I'm gonna fold the mushrooms and veggies into the rice. Once the rice is nice and fluffy and the veggies are mixed in, I'm gonna serve this up into a rice bowl. And our autumn takikomi gohan is done! And don't forget to garnish it! Okay, this kitchen smells amazing and I'm ready to eat, so itadakimasu! Oh, this looks so good! Mmm! The vegetables are seasoned all the way through because we cooked them separately and they've gone in and released all their flavors into the rice. And the mushrooms contribute this really nice meaty flavor and texture. So this is plant-based, but it's like a whole meal in one. And what I love about this is that each bite is different from the last one, so you never get bored with it. This would also make a really amazing onigiri, so be sure to check out my video to learn how to shape them. As always, let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving this a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below if you have any recipe requests. Alright, I'm gonna go make some miso soup to go with this rice, but check out this playlist for more delicious rice dishes, and I'll catch you in the next one.